So Apple Intelligence launched last year, but in Europe, it actually just came out a couple of months ago. I know a lot of people are still not using the Apple Intelligence features fully. So in this video, I thought I would show you my personal favorite Apple Intelligence features that I find the most useful. In case you are not already using these, Apple Intelligence is constantly creating and improving. So soon we're gonna have a lot more Apple Intelligence features, but these are a few basic features that I feel like everyone needs to know. If you own an iPhone and want to use Apple Intelligence. Yeah, let's just get right into it. By the way, if you are totally new to Apple Intelligence and haven't even activated it on your phone, this is how you do it. So you just go into settings and then you have a little Apple Intelligence and Siri. And this is only for iPhone models compatible. And this is where you can activate it or deactivate it at the top where it says Apple Intelligence. Okay, this has to be my top number one feature it's that you can finally search for photos in your photo album and it basically uses apple intelligence to find the specific photo you're looking for if you're like me and you have a lot of photos i'm currently at 105 thousand photos even though you can obviously organize your photos in albums it is sometimes impossible to find the specific photo you're looking for now you can finally press the little search button up in the right corner so for example if you're looking for the time you had breakfast in sydney we can just search for it and it's gonna show me all of my food pictures from sydney honestly i think this works like 95 percent of the time wearing pink shirt but it also like includes some stuff that isn't really a pink shirt but this usually helps me find the picture i'm looking for if i can only remember a little detail like where it was taken what i was wearing and by the way something good to know is it also works for video okay next this also has to do with photos i now use it for pretty much all my instagram pictures by the way this is my instagram now you don't need any external editing apps if you want to remove like people from the background or just clean up your photo so you just press the little lines at the bottom and then you have a feature called cleanup you can see it's already like noticing where the people are so what you can do is just make a circle around the person and it's gonna remove it doesn't always work perfectly and then we can try to remove this girl as well so if we want to remove these people from the background we can just circle and look at that it actually does a really good job that was actually really smooth like sometimes it does a really good job sometimes it looks kind of unnatural but this was actually a really good job like now that looks very clean like this is before and this is after and also it's really good to remove like little marks from the road if you just want your picture to look more clean for example like if we zoom in on this we can just erase it with everything apple intelligence can do i've been wanting that same kind of support in actual conversations like meetings and calls that's why i've been using the viam open node earbuds thank you viam for sponsoring today's video these might look like regular open ear earbuds but they're actually packed with smart features that make them feel more like a productive tool you long press the side to start flash record which instantly captures whatever's going on without needing to open an app or worry about bluetooth dropouts this works live if you're having a conversation face to face with someone and for meetings in small conference rooms it picks up sound within seven meters and it can distinguish different speakers in multi-person meetings you can also quickly record an important phone call like regular phone call zoom or whatsapp Flash Record also supports the recording of videos you're watching, like YouTube videos, computer meetings, and online courses. So let's say you're watching a lecture, you can activate simultaneous transcription while listening to better take notes and understand the information. It handles real-time transcription and supports translation up to 21 languages. The Viam AI is a huge help for organizing my notes after lectures and meetings, since it can turn an hour-long recording into a quick summary summary or to-do list, so this makes sure I never miss any important details or tasks to follow up on after the meeting. The earbuds also feel great to wear, they're very light, open, add no pressure to your ears, and the design avoids clashing with glasses. The audio leak protection is also a nice touch because it keeps everything private when you're in public spaces. The sound quality is great and it's just an overall pleasant and clear listening experience. This product feels like giving your ears the smart assistant they've been missing. 
So if you want to check them out, I'll leave the link in the description. This one I'm literally so excited for. I should have put this one as first. We can finally make a light pink heart emoji. Or I mean, we can make any emoji we want. Like, look at this. I just texted a light pink emoji and a seashell. So what I'm talking about is obviously Genmoji. When you're in messages, you just press the plus button and then you're going to have the option called Genmoji. And then we can just describe whatever emoji we want to create. A black small dog. This is so cute. Okay. I'm going to use it. So if you want to use it, we just press add and then it's going to come up here in our emojis. The only catch with this is you can pretty much only use it on messages. So if you create an emoji, you can type it on Instagram. Another way to create a Genmoji is to go into Google and just search for light pink heart and go to images and we're going to find one that we like. Okay, so we're just going to save the photos, go into our photos and then mark it like this and then you're gonna see the option called add sticker it's gonna add that as a sticker now i have so many light pink cards i feel like every iphone user knows how annoying siri can be sometimes i love siri but she she hasn't always been the smartest but we can actually use ChatGPT and siri together you just have to go into your apple intelligence settings and go down to extensions and here you can see ChatGPT. so it's gonna say use ChatGPT, and you can set it up and then press enable ChatGPT. i need a caption for this sunset photo and use ChatGPT. Can you give me some more options? Look at that. Okay, now we have a bunch of different options here. Can you make it a little bit more casual? Can you explain black holes to me and use ChatGPT? Okay, so now we just got a full explanation here with ChatGPT. So, I don't know, I think this is really useful if you have a question or you need help with something. Okay, now something else we can do is ask Siri to perform actions for us. So this is really good if, if you want to use your iPhone hands-free, like maybe you're cooking. Can you send this photo to Sophia? I'm gonna Sorry, send it to I'm not sure. Can you send this photo to Sophia? Yes, send. Look at that. Like, that was obviously a very simple action. Okay, now let's move on to notes. So we actually have a lot of Apple intelligence features in our notes that we can use. So we're just gonna open a random note and then go to the bottom where we have this little like writing tools feature. And this is really good because it can do like anything. It can summarize, it can proofread and fix any spelling errors. If you have a long text, it can list the key points or turn your text into a list. But one of my favorite things here is you can compose something with the help of ChatGPT so you don't even have to write it yourself. So for example, I wanna write a little vision of how I want the rest of my year to look like, but I don't really know how to start, so I'm gonna ch ask ChatGPT. Okay, let's see how it did. <laughs> Manifesting a fulfilling 2025. <laughs> okay, so it just turned all of my bullet points into like a full on manifestation text that I can read every morning. Now we can perfect it even more. We already have the suggestions by ChatGPT. For example, add affirmations to each section. I wanna do that. Okay, and just like that, we have affirmations for my daily routine instead of worrying bullet points. And it's done right in your notes app, so you don't have to copy and paste it into like ChatGPT. And for example, here I have a script for a voiceover. So maybe I just want to make it a little bit more casual, but keep a professional tone. And it's going to rewrite the entire text for me. Yeah, that is honestly a lot better. I think writing emails is pretty stressful, but Apple Intelligence honestly makes it a lot easier. So here's a summary of what you can do with Apple Intelligence in mail. And a side note is this doesn't work with the Gmail app. It's only with the actual mail app on your iPhone. So, okay, so now if we go into an email, you can see at the top it says summarize. So now this is real good if you have like a long email. It just gives a very, very simple summary of the email, but it's really good if you get a lot of emails and you don't really have time to read through very long emails you kind of just want to know what the email is about you can choose to summarize it and see if there's any important stuff if you have to reply to it right away or if it can wait a little bit okay so if i wrote an email and i just want some help like proofreading it i can just mark it like this and then proofread or rewrite it's gonna rewrite it in a much better tone like more professional so that's really good because you don't have to overthink emails anymore 
I feel like I always overthink if I sound professional enough or if I spelled something wrong but now I really don't have to overthink I can just write whatever I feel like and then have Apple Intelligence rewrite it for me before I press send. Okay, and now also when we press reply, I'm automatically gonna get suggestions for replies. If the email included any questions, it's gonna have like a reply to that. So if you say like you're interested, it's gonna write a full email based on that I'm interested. And then they also ask me what type of video do you prefer? So if my reply is integrated, it's also gonna include that in my email. So it's so easy. Oh, by the way, speaking of Siri, this this is also really useful. You can now type to Siri, or you've been able to do it for a while, but it's really useful. We used to not be able to talk to Siri when we were in like public settings, like maybe at school or a cafe where you don't want to speak to Siri. We can now just double tap at the bottom of your phone and also you have to activate type to Siri in settings. But yeah, we just double tap it and it's gonna come up a little type to Siri. Okay, and it just gave me a reply, and then you can continue writing. I used to not find Image Playground very useful until I started using it for my school presentations because I used to Google if I needed an image for a presentation. It would often be like a very specific image I had in my head, and I couldn't really find the perfect image, but now we can just create it in Image Playground. So for example, if we're having a history presentation, we can just give it a description. If I like this picture, I can just save image, and then I can use this for my presentation or for science it could be something like this but yeah it actually creates really good illustrations for literally whatever you need and it's also really good if you are a content creator for example if you're creating a thumbnail you can generate images of tech products like headphones and the good thing is you can customize it so much to make it really unique okay but those were some of my favorite apple intelligence features i know these have been around for a while at least for the us but if you're in europe these have not been out for a very long time and if you're not using them yet you should definitely try them out we have a bunch more apple intelligence features coming very soon and some things that are already out and i'll definitely be making a new video about it so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it